Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV. Your Class B and B Plus RV specialists, please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it'll take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing. If you have any questions on those, please give us a call in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have this beautiful 2005 Chinook Glacier 2500. Alrighty folks, it's time to tour the inside of this 2005 Chinook Glacier. Uh, if you are familiar with the Chinooks at all, Chinook is known to be one of the highest quality manufacturers in your small motorhome space, your Class C's, your Class B pluses, your Class B's. Uh, this is their Glacier model. Uh, they do claim that this is one of the best built motorhomes in the world. Uh, don't take my word for it. I will show you the brochure here in a few minutes when we get back there. As always, we're starting up front. we we'll make our way towards the rear of the coach. Then come back towards the front. I'm going to try to get you a few different angles as well as so you can get a feel for the overall space as well as the overall condition. We're a small family owned and operated dealership. Got the nice maple cabinetry all the way throughout this unit. Leather furniture everywhere. Both of these front seats are flex steel. Uh, flex steel makes RV furniture as well as your home furniture. Uh, flex steel just makes a higher quality RV furniture than what most of your factory cookie cutter RVs have in them. So this is a two-person unit. This is going to sleep two people. Uh, this bed will run, or this sofa will run down into a bed. Uh, we do have two seat belts there. So if you want to take a couple grandkids along with you or something like that, uh, there is ample floor space that they could sleep on the floor. Uh, but this is really designed to be a two-person unit. Uh, if you're going tailgating to a concert event, you don't intend sleeping in here. There are the extra seat belts for some passengers to ride along. This sofa will run down into a bed. I will show you that on the way back towards the front of the coach. Again, we've got the nice maple cabinetry all the way around. Not going to open all three of those doors there, but that does run all the way length of that cabinet there. Spinning around here, we've got some light switches, step switch, things of that nature up there. Again, this one goes all the way across, not going to open all three doors. Uh, we've got our fuse panel and circuits, circuit breakers there. Nice big, big side windows. So if you're traveling and somebody is sitting back here, uh, these big side windows are wonderful. You can see all the scenery, great things that we have to see here in our country. Uh, both of these chairs do kind of swivel. They also do slide back and forth. Uh, there's a lever on each side of those. There's a table located here. This table is going to pull up and flip down like that. Not too hard. I'm doing it with one hand while I'm holding the camera and the other. And also holding my pointer stick. And my wife says that I'm not, that I can't multitask. I'll show her. All the leather furniture is in really good shape. Uh, I don't see any tears, stains, rips. Uh, and any of it anywhere. This thing's in phenomenal shape. Uh, I'm going to back up here. As you can see, we have carpet in this living area as well as in the cabin. Uh, we actually have tile floor. That is real tile floor in the kitchen and bathroom area. A couple of big uh, wardrobes cabinets there. I'll open up for you in a second. This does have a trip light inverter. Uh, that inverter is going to power some of the 110 outlets off of your coach batteries. Switches for the power sofa bed. Thermostat's going to run your AC, your heat pump, uh, and your furnace as well. This is kind of our control center here. Monitor switch. This one here is going to turn on our water pump, our water heater. Remote start for our generator, our Onan 4K generator, showing 207 hours. The controller for our solar panels. Most all of the Chinook products are factory with solar. Um, I'm going to have to ask my guys on that one. I'm not positive. Uh, carbon monoxide detector. Uh, heated tank switch. That one's going to turn on 
Uh, this has the Arctic package, so a little extra insulation underneath that switch is going to turn on the heated tanks. Nice big fridge freezer. Uh, doors swing towards me, so I'll open that up for you when we come back towards the front of the coach. The fridge is a three-way, so it'll run on 110, 12-volt, or propane gas. Uh, two wardrobes. The bigger, wider one is a, the hers, and the narrower one is the his. Uh, we also have the rod to crank out the awning in that wardrobe there. We've got the manufacturer's cargo, cargo carrying capacity. Uh, this one has pretty much all the options, what it has. I'll go down that a little bit slower if anybody wants to try to make that out. If you want a picture of it, send us an email, shoot me a text. My cell is 419-770-1515. Anytime, there's a, if you want to see something more in more detail, uh, you can always call us, email us, text me on my cell phone at that number. We'd be happy to get you any more information that you need. We've got the Sharp Grill 2 convection. So this is a microwave oven as well as a convection oven. Range hood with fan and light. Got a two burner cooktop. This is a rear corner. As you can see, we got an L shaped kitchen here. Uh, Corian countertops. Two basin. Kitchen sink. It has the covers uh, to give you that extra counter space when you need it. Got a couple windows back here. Lots and lots of natural light. Open a couple of cabinets. Got some pretty good storage under the kitchen sink. Nice big drawer. Some overhead cabinets. Lots of space in there. So we've got lots and lots of storage in this unit. Put them back up here and we're going to go into the restroom. Uh, nice size restroom, actually. Um, medicine cabinet with mirror on the wall. Bathroom sink, toilet, again, tile floor in the restroom here. This is a two-piece uh, fiberglass shower surround. Got the seat there. You can see the two-piece, we've got the seam there. Top and bottom halves. Shower valve. I'm going to say it hasn't been used a whole lot because we still have the sticker from Chinook or Trail Wagons. Exhaust with fan up there. If you want to flip that on, let the steam hot air go up. Uh, I am 6'3 with my boots on. Sorry, you're staring at the wall. I'm 6'3 with my boots on. Um, I have plenty of room in the shower. 6'3, uh, call it 230. Uh, so I've got pretty broad shoulders. Uh, plenty of room to move around in the shower. Uh, I've got plenty of headroom if I stand in the skylight. If I move off to the edge of the skylight, my head hits a little bit. But if I stand in the center of the skylight, uh, 6'3", I've got plenty of headroom. Might be maybe another inch of play there. Um, no issues as far as width. Uh, plenty of room to turn around. So nice big shower. Overall headroom in this entire unit. Um, the lights obviously stick down a little bit as you can see, but if I'm not standing where the light is, again, I'm 6'3", I've got maybe a half an inch to an inch between the top of my head and the ceiling. I'm gonna say more towards the inch. So the headroom in this is gonna be roughly about 6'4". Um, the lights do drop down some, as you can see, so you're gonna to have to, if you're 6'4", you have to duck between those lights. If you're 6'2 and a half, 6'3", um, you should be, your head's just barely gonna graze those. Uh, what, are, what is a little monkey's favorite snack? to have with their milk. What are Little Monkey's favorite snack to have with their milk? Chocolate chimp cookies. Uh, so this thing has solar. Uh, we do have HWH uh, hydraulic leveling jacks. The slide out room is also HWH hydraulic. Uh, the slide, if you wanna slide these chairs back and forward, you can see the little lever on the side of the chair there. I forgot to show you the brochure. I almost forgot. We can't forget that. 
So we've got all the manuals here in this cabinet. Here's your brochure. The best built Class C motorhome in the world. Uh, they had two different floor plans here. As you can see, this is the 25 floor plan, the shorter one to one on the left. The 27, as you can see, had two slide outs. So this is kind of their big daddy line, uh, two floor plans, but this is one of their, their top floor plans. Best built Class C motorhome in the world. It's their claim. And Chinook is a very high quality product. Uh, they use a lot of real wood in these, um, nice furniture. The outside is a one piece formed fiberglass shell. So I'm gonna say that it's, for most people reference wise, it's built similar to a boat, uh, nice thick fiberglass hull. Uh, you could say that you're building a boat and turn it upside down, or you could say you're building an RV and turning this RV upside down to build a boat. So nice thick fiberglass shell. Uh, we'll run the sofa bed down here. A nice thick fiberglass shell stands up better over time. Also is going to give you less opportunities to have leaks. Uh, it is just an overall better quality, better construction. There's very few manufacturers that make their RVs with a one-piece fiberglass shell like Chinook does. Sorry, I kind of skipped over the bed there. But this is the bed, so this is a two-person unit, so you're going to sleep lengthwise, one, two. And there, again, the seat belts. I'm not going to run that back up for time's sake in the video here. 24-inch Samsung flat-screen TV over here. DVD player over here. Power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, all loaded up in the cabin. Uh, power heated mirrors. Got some switches overhead here for driving lights, vehicle boost. Vehicle boost is going to jump the engine off of the coach batteries. Remote start for a generator. That's a nice feature, having that switch up here. Uh, if you're driving and your wife or, say, your husband, for instance, doesn't know how to start the generator in the back, you can flip it on for them right here. Uh, coach battery disconnect switch right there. Put a pop up here quick. Controller for our HWH leveling jacks. Controls for our HWH hydraulic rim extension. Overall, nice clean coach. Phenomenal conditions, phenomenal quality. Um, I'm going to call this thing a nine, nine and a half. Outside shined up very nicely. Interior cleaned up very well. Overall, super nice, clean coach. Uh, I've been promising this one to you for a while with this coronavirus stuff going on right now. It's been a little difficult getting some parts here, so we uh, we do not advertise our units until they are 100% ready to go. Um, been waiting on a couple parts to finish this thing up, but here it is. If you have any questions, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV. Best little RV dealer around since 1976. Alrighty, folks, we're going to run around the outside of this Chinook Glacier. We are 24 feet from bumper to bumper. Our tires are Michelins and have date codes of 5115. We have a 11-foot awning. This does sit on the Ford E450 chassis. It is powered by the 6.8 liter V10 Triton engine. Nice and shiny on the outside here, as you can see. Uh, to start it off here, we've got an outside storage compartment. Looks like we've got your jack in there, fresh water hose, uh, pretty good sized compartment there. Vent for our propane furnace. Vent and access to the back of our refrigerator. Vent and access to our water heater. Got our own in 4K gasoline generator. As you can see, this does have leveling jacks. Those are hydraulic, HWH hydraulic leveling jacks. Nice and straight and shiny everywhere. Now we got the backup camera up top, ladder to get to your roof. Uh, we do have solar on the roof on this one. Solar was factory option on a lot of these Chinooks. Spare tire, tow package. Got our black and gray water tank dumps. Gasoline tank. We've got our city water connection, black tank flush, outside shower valve, shower hose, um, short power cord, telephone jack, and cable TV. We're gonna fill our onboard fresh water tank right here. So these doors, uh, if the slide out is in, these doors will catch on this, but since the slide out is out, these doors cannot catch and hang. Uh, this one here houses, we've got two, actually, excuse me, we got three coach batteries uh, with a little bit of storage there beside those. 
Got your outlet adapters, circuit breakers. A lot of your electrical is in that compartment. Got the fill for our propane tank. And last but not least here, we have the pump and all electronics valves for the HWH leveling jacks as well as the slide operator.